Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Explosion, and today we're going into space, again. <laughs> so here we have the fully redesigned pinwheel Mark IV. Now, what was the problem we had last time? Aside from the fact that we weren't efficient enough to actually get into orbit before we started the pinwheel operation, uh, the major problem was that the rockets were flying off the bottom of the fuselages on the pinwheel when we started to have rotational centrifugal force. So to, uh, to, to try and work around that problem, I had this idea that why don't we use these boosters? Because they're all one piece according to the game, right? Uh, so when you put these on, it's the fuel tank and the rocket all in one piece, just a solid booster. Maybe that'll help, maybe that'll work. We've got a number of struts and a lot of decouplers synced up in very specific ways. Down here, we've got these large rockets and these mainsail, or these large uh, fuel tanks and these mainsail rockets. These are the most powerful rockets in the game. However, the fuel tank weighs a lot. So uh, these are quite powerful and I haven't used them yet because I was trying to get the hang of the small rockets before using the big ones, but we're gonna use the big ones now. So we've got three of those and then eight of these smaller boosters. When I hit go, all of these are going to go at once, all of the rockets on the bottom. I'm thinking the boosters will run out of fuel first and then we will jettison them with this stage. Then these side big tanks, while all three of these are firing, they will be draining fuel with these fuel lines into the center one. So when these empty first, we will eject them with this stage and simultaneously eject these struts, which are gonna give us some lateral stability. We've got struts going from here to there. Um, and I suppose I could also do some from here to there in a future model if I wanna strutify this thing even more. And then once we're finished with this center guy, we're gonna release it and also this these uh, last two struts, and then we'll have the pinwheel. Hopefully that's enough. I've also added a uh, SAS module, which supposedly you don't need anymore. What am I trying to do? I wanted to look at the top here. There's an SAS module here, which supposedly you don't need, but I also added a uh, an RCS tank and RCS thrusters so that once we get into orbit, hopefully, we can have, uh, we can we can fiddle with them. So anyway, SAS on, throttle up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh my, oh wow. That is noticeably faster than the things I've done before. Now let's see, solid fuel, these boosters, overheating. Okay, let's throttle down. Let's get that under control. We're still accelerating. Uh, let's just try and manage our heat. I don't want to blow things up yet. Maybe we'll have like an episode where I try to blow things up with overheating. But it looks like uh, these big fuel tanks are going to run out about the same time as these small ones do, which is okay. I thought the small ones would run out first. But we are accelerating quite quickly. Let's go ahead and let's start a gravity turn. Ooh, this, that's unstable. Let's, let's, okay, oh gosh, oh wow, no, no, crap, okay, very unstable, I have SAS on, there, um, crap, spin around, no, no, go, let's just go straight up, oh, why won't you go the way I want, which way, which way will point you up, not that way, this is a very unstable vessel. Let's go up. This is not going the way I wanted it to. It started out so good, too, and then I, I decided to try to turn. Uh, as soon as you start spinning around, the controls are very awkward to use. And I guess, is this where we're supposed to be headed? I don't know what this uh, marker is set to the default as. And the camera is spinning around every time we spin around, so I'm totally disoriented. Let's see what uh, this is doing. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, let's let that get a little higher. Let's tip over some. I guess I guess I wanted to do a maneuver, but uh, I guess we 
we'll save that for another video. We'll just try and do this one manually again. And we're about to run out of fuel for this guy. Okay, so we didn't get as high as I thought we would. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be another failure. We need more rockets. That's the problem. Oh, and that's just going to separate on its own. Okay, I didn't release it yet. It just broke off. Well, we're going all the way up to 109. Let's see what <laughs> happens. Let's throttle down. I wanted to get into orbit, dang it. Let's see if this will work now. All right. Gurji Kerman, are you ready for the pinwheel ac action? The pinwheel attack? Whoa! Oh, those were the... Okay, that's fine. There we go. Oh! <laughs> that didn't last very long. All right, maybe, maybe the pinwheel idea isn't going to work. That was pretty... Look how low my throttle was. Um, great. Let's get rid of that. And I guess we're headed back to Earth once again. Once again. All right. I see what I was doing wrong before. Not enough power, obviously. Obviously not enough power. So, uh, bottom stage will be seven of these big rocket tanks and 18 of these boosters. And they're going to fall off and they're all linked up together in a similar fashion. And then we'll have... Uh, another stage with boosters and then a main tank and then this guy and if we can't get to orbit with this I give up. I give up. Here we go Nothing happened Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? What happened? What happened there? What? I didn't even launch the dumb thing. <laughs> Why did that happen? Okay, unnecessary force mark two. I'm hoping that the problem was that some of the items when I was doing the six time symmetry, some of them were overlapping and we were getting some errors. It looks very unstable. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. It launches. Thank you. Oh, I don't think we're, okay. Whoa. <laughs> There, there it goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys later. Oh, my. Look at that. Yeah, that's not very stable. <laughs> that connection we used is not very stable. Boom. Okay, still unstable. Let's, um, let's try launching, and I will reduce the throttle. I had a bunch of these struts and things here. I have no idea if that's going to have any effect whatsoever, except making it look ugly. Um, okay, whatever. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, a little bit. Okay, let's throttle down, actually. Just a little. Stay on target. Yes, I do believe that did have an effect. Look at all those guys. We're almost... If I put a, a, uh, a few windows up, we might have just have an office building here <laughs> with all the struts and stuff. Let's see. Oh, we need to throttle down, that's for sure. Yeah, these boosters may not be worth it with a rocket this heavy because to have the throttle high enough to uh, make them worth their salt, I, uh, I have too much overheating. So maybe we'll just take these boosters off for the next time. It is having some effect. We are spinning, which is not good. They're gone. Okay, let's just lose those. No, no, overheat. Throttle down. Oh, crap. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Shoot! No, 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 no. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Um, Get rid of that. Let's see if we can stabilize this. How high are we? Not very high. Let's see if I can stabilize. I don't even know which button to hit to stay. Oh, that one. Okay, this way. And then stop. Stop. Here we go. Thr throttle up. And <laughs> launch. Yeah, Bob Kerman. You look kind of bored, Bob. Maybe we should uh, aim for these volcanoes over there. Yeah, I think um, maybe we need to take a step back from the zillions of rockets and just try to get something into space. 
Maybe that's an approach we can take. Just get something into space. That's not too much to ask, is it? Okay, here we go. Unnecessary Force Mark III, SAS up. Throttle up. Took off the boosters on the first stage. Let's see how this do. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hey, look at that. Very stable. And I think that was just dead weight at this point. Let's see if we can get this dump thing. Oh my gosh, overheating. Stop overheating. <laughs> quit it. I said quit it. Okay, let's just keep that overheating right there. We're still accelerating. Let's accelerate. And then we'll back off. Okay. So we'll keep it right. At, let's let it go down just a little bit. There we go. Right about at a 70%. We're still accelerating. We're still rocketing off the ground. Literally. Ha <laughs> ha. Bob Kerman is a little bit worried. <laughs> Based on our previous attempts, I don't blame him. So, right at about 10,000 kilometers, I'm gonna start a gravity turn. And looks like we will just about get there right around the time we stage into the next. So let, let's go ahead and start now. Let's turn over. Don't break. And I think I need to, yeah, yeah, stay on target. Rotate. Rotate. Stay on target. Let's go about like that. Stay right there, right at the 90. Stay turned over. Okay. There we go. See you later, suckers. Hey, all right, not too bad. Uh, no, no. No, go that way. Oh, crap. It's really... You know what? We're very bottom-heavy, so it's hard to steer it with these guys. And I can't throttle them down. They're boosters. They just boost. That's all they know how to do. Let's see if we can get them to turn over. We probably have a... We have enough upward momentum, I would say. Let's just go ahead and tip most of the way over. And then once we're done with these, I want to try and stabilize the rocket a bit. Look at this. Yeah, I don't like this. And I'm not sure which button to hit to fix it. We're rotating. We're still aiming kind of more or less for the same heading, which is good. And I think we just may be able to hit orbit. These boosters will be great for our lateral momentum. Okay, see you later, suckers. Oh. So graceful and beautiful. The hexagon of justice. All right. Let's, um, let's turn RCS on. There we go. Let's see if I can get the, figure out which button to hit to spin my guy around. It's this one. We want to head back to this, I think. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that like an orbit? I want to get over to about 90 degrees. Come on. There we go. And then spin that ball. No, this way. There we Oh, yeah, so much easier to control at this point. There we go. Oh, man, I feel like a real astronaut, finally. Let's back this ship up. This was our original orientation, so I want to keep to this. Let's get right on the money. Spin it. Okay, now stop. Stop right there. Good. That's good enough. Let's look at what we're doing. We're close to the apoapsis in 40 seconds. I want to add a maneuver. I want to get us into orbit. Um, what's that going to do? 66 on that side. 70 and 82. 73 and 84. 77, 86. Eighty and a hundred. That is good enough for now. And in five, four, three, two, one, we gotta burn right now. Here we go. We are burning. There's our fuel, uh, our boosters. Look at them. They're still in a hexagon formation. That's pretty cool. And we're leaving them behind, and we're gonna overheat if we go full throttle. Let's let's dial down. It's gonna extend our burn, but that's all right. And we need to. We're a little bit off target here, but we're gonna get into orbit with this sucker. We finally did it, uh, an on-purpose orbit, using a maneuver and not just winging it. This should be a, a proper equatorial orbit with a little bit of 
a little bit of wiggle room and we'll maybe in the future we'll try to um, learn how to adjust the orbit to get it exactly how we want there we go and oh no stop what happened right there lost I lost control the camera started spinning like mad is that because we oh I think that's because we went into orbit no no go back that way I guess it doesn't matter um but we made it into orbit. No, let's get rid of that. I don't want to add a maneuver. We are now a lithium atom. <laughs> We're in orbit. 61 kilometers on that side, 101 on that side. And if we want to make this one higher, I'm not really sure how to do that. Maybe we go to here and do this. That lowers it. Okay, let's, what about this way? Let's pull on this one, see what happens. That's not, that's not helping. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's make another one. Add maneuver. Is it, no, it's not that. It's not that, it's definitely not that. That's gonna make that one huge. So maybe we have to fire at the other side. Let's close that. There's our apoapsis. Let's uh, add a maneuver there. 46, 118. No, nope, wrong way. I want to make the periapsis higher. 61. None of these, none of these are doing what I want. So I guess we may have to just leave this for another time. I know these purple triangles are for changing your elliptical. Um, and then one of these should... Oh, there we go. 147. And this one is at 101. So we want that to go up to there. That'll be about a 106. And then that will be at... Um, 84. Okay, so we'll do this next time, actually. We will try to finagle our orbit and maybe go somewhere else with this rocket because... Uh, we'll just leave that like it is. If we look here, we've got most of this fuel tank left, and then we have all of this fuel tank left. We may just go to the moon with this sucker. There's no coming back, <laughs> but I don't really care. And I'm sure Bob is excited for his future and imminent death. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time on Kerbal Space Explosion. See you later. Bye.